So how do, how do you get cast as Jillian on Fame? So I was doing um, I was doing a Broadway show, Forty Second Street, mm-hmm. and I was working on the um, workshop of a, a show called Smile that they brought to Broadway. That it didn't last. Oh yeah, but, uh, Bruce Dern was in the movie. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was based on that movie, and I guess right in the seventies. But um, yeah. Uh, great cast, really, really wonderful cast. But so, anyway, they were bringing that to Broadway, and then I, w- I was doing Forty Second Street at the time, and I was going to leave to do Smile. And then this audition came about, and gosh, there must have been four or five um, auditions before, um, you know, the actual um, screen test. Mm-hmm. Gosh, that I that it, somebody showed me. <laughs> <years later. laughs> oh my gosh. Just horrible to watch yourself, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think part of it, I think, is they did, they had it all written out. This character takes over for Nia because she loses her voice. It's, it's, um, it was a show that they set in kind of the 40s style, 30s, mm-hmm. 40s style. Yeah. Um, who done it kind of thing. And it started in black and white and went to color. It was very, very well done. Um, it was about the 42nd Street scene where the young girl from small town uh, gets thrown into the starring role of a show. That's what 42nd Street is about. So the fact that I was doing 42nd Street and that this character, Jillian, was... Um, to play that character in that episode, I think had something to do with why. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, but um, yeah, that was that was a grueling ex- um, audition experience. And then I remember I got I get the call from my agent, mm-hmm. and then I hadn't I didn't hear from them for mm-hmm. a while. And in the meantime, I'm negotiating this contract for Smile. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know what's happening. I call my agent back and I go, K- please don't lose this job for me. Please, please don't lose this job. I'll do it for free. And she goes, you know, don't, t- how dare you? Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell that to anybody else. But, um, yeah, she said, relax. Don't worry. It's all a, it's a process. We're fine. We're handling it. <laughs> but I was like, please don't lose this job. Yeah, that was fun. And then so we shot all of the exteriors, or, or I shouldn't say all of them, the ones, the episodes that were written, we shot the exteriors in Manhattan. And um, fun because all of my colleagues, um, you know, were, were part of the, these exterior um, shots that were, you know, especially the dance uh, shots, but they, they, um, they were all over Manhattan. They were so cool. It was such, such a great time. And then, of course, I get to meet these people that I've been watching, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the prior four years of of, um, of the run of the show, I love. I mean, I love the show. Debbie Allen was yeah. an idol of mine. Yeah, and they all were. They they all were. And so to meet them and then get to work with them, just one of the best best jobs of my life. It's really great experience. And then moving to Man- uh, to to Los Angeles, um, yeah, it was fun. Fun. I'll never forget the first time they brought me out to LA. I can't remember what it was for. I meet the. I, don't, I can't remember what the heck it was for. Not to shoot anything, but um, mm-hmm. and they put me up in a hotel in um, where the heck were we? Culver City, because that's where um, MGM was on there. And um, there was an earthquake in the middle of the night, and I woke up and I look over in the closet, and I my clothes were like swaying right to left. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. I fell back to sleep, and I woke up the next day with the news that said there was a huge earthquake. <laughs> yeah, that was my my intro, my introduction to Los Angeles. Uh, I I grew up on the show because uh, I had a huge crush on Valerie Landsberg. Um, oh God, you know, yeah. We're going back and forth, um, you know, about doing an interview on the show right now, and I, I can't wait till it eventually happens. Um, yeah, I've talked to uh, Olivia Barash, uh, Robert Romanus, um, huh? Lisa Naff, who was a, a famed dancer in the first season. She didn't get along huh? with she didn't get along with Debbie Allen. Um, wow. But, okay. Yes, but, but I remember her. Yeah. I remember all the dancers from that? Yeah, the first year. And um, and, and Michael McGreevy. Oh, nice guy. Yeah. Nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> really talented writer, producer now, I think, director now. Yeah, he's 
I, I, they were really good, nice people. You know, it was mm-hmm. the great thing about it for me, besides to get to work with all these just amazing people, mm-hmm. um, was that it, they were so relaxed. The fifth season yeah. was such a relaxed set. There was no, well, they weren't stressed. I was. A yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, they were so laid back, so cool. Yeah, it was, it was fun. I, like, had cocktail hour every day at 5 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we shot until, you know, midnight, by the way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the time you got there, the show was in first-run syndication, so there was no yeah. network looking over the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I felt bad that it was, like, like killed the show. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. I, I always thought the first two seasons on NBC were the best because oh, yeah. it was much more structured and formed. The production values were better, and the, yeah, the, the yeah. writing was so much better. And then after a while, the show got repetitive. Yeah, it did. I kept watching it, though. I just, it, it just something about it. I mean, it was who I was. I wanted to be for sure. Um, yeah, it it, it it did. I mean, for me though, mm-hmm. you know, coming from the theater, um, the, it was amazing. You know, the, the dancers rehearsed all day. Yeah. I mean, they worked their butts off. There was a product, or they, you know, they they'd written a song, or two or three. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you know, in a in a week's time, and you learn it, and you choreograph, you learn the choreography for it and you put it on his feet I mean it's pretty amazing it's pretty amazing what they could do yeah and how hard everybody you know worked to get that done I guess it took like seven days to, to shoot one episode but yeah yeah for me it was an amazing experience I just it was just beyond thrilled yeah by that and also by that point you also had the uh... Guys like uh, Michael Cerveris and uh, uh, Jesse Borrego on there, and um, yeah, yeah. And, and Carrie Hamilton. I love that song you two did. He looks like Romeo. <laughs> yeah, she was. Gosh, what a cool lady she was. She um, she was a she was a recovering recovering addict. I think just like yeah. probably everything. But um, so she was see, all day long, all mm-hmm. day long, and she. It, she kind of took me under her wing, thankfully. She's such a sweetheart. And um, me and Michael. And she would have these game nights. She would stay up all night and just play games. Mm-hmm. No, no alcohol involved. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she drank coffee all night and she played games all night. And I, could, I, I didn't last very long because I liked to sleep. But because, you know, we had, we had to be at work at six, at mm-hmm. work at six. So up to five. Did you two do a lot of rehearsal for that song? No, that's the thing. There's not a, you know, it's pretty quick. You, you learn the choreography. Um, Jaime Rogers was the choreographer at that point because Debbie was directing a lot of them. Um, mm-hmm. So I wish I'd worked with Debbie more, but, but um, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, he choreographed. Everything happened so quickly. So we probably rehearsed it for a day, maybe or two, and then um, and then shot it. It was a big production number, so it was, you know, it didn't take too long. Like some of those big production numbers took days. Have Have you ever done the uh, the Fame reunions? No, I haven't. I think the Don't Last episode is not um, has not aired mm-hmm. in the UK or I guess out of I think, I guess, I don't know, something like that, but I mean, mm. they reached out and I, I, you know, I was like, I'm happy to do whatever I can do, like send a video kind of thing, just to say hi, I, you know, I'd be happy to be involved. I know Michael got, got involved this last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I know that they're doing one in September, and it's the 40th anniversary yeah. since they did their right. their first tour of um, the UK. Yeah, 